Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at shocking secrets people have revealed. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I had an old girlfriend who was coming to Florida and wanted to hang out with me and my wife. She brought her mum, who I knew pretty well. A great dinner, drinks, fun stories. And then when my ex went to the bathroom, the mum told me she, the ex, was dying of cancer. I had no idea. It was sad, but yet felt so good she wanted to hang out. She died within a year. We were probably 35 years old at the time. <gasps> That's crazy. They must have had a really tight bond, right? For her to like, you know, want to hang out with him before she goes kind of thing. And for everyone to be okay with it. Because we all know so many people would not like the partners hanging out with their exes. And I totally get the mum. Like, I get why she did that. Because she just probably feels so bad and feels so sad for her own daughter. You know, like she needs to let someone know. I get that, I totally get it. I'm 56 now, but at some point in my early 40s, while driving with my dad, he says, you have a half brother somewhere. Excuse me? My ex fiance and I were having pillow talk in bed. It was really late, all the lights were off and the window blinds were open. I remember staring at the moon and admiring privately how beautiful it was while my ex talked. He casually dropped how he assaulted his niece when Oh my gosh, oh jeez. He went on so casually and all I remember feeling was my heart sink deep into the pit of my stomach and my adrenaline started pumping. Thankfully it was dark so he couldn't see my face as I reacted to what he had just said. He fell asleep and I just couldn't. The audacity he had to fall asleep, honestly. <laughs> honestly, how do you freaking drop that on someone and just feel okay with it? I stared at the moon for hours trying to process what he had just said. I couldn't shake the pit in my stomach so I broke it off with him. Why would he just, you know what, good that he told her that because frick man, if I found that out after I married someone, frick. I found out my mother and father were not divorced. He never existed. She had a one night stand, found out she was pregnant, bought a wedding ring, changed her name and told the family she had gotten married. She made up excuses every time she went to my grandparents house as to why her husband couldn't also be there with them. On the third visit, my grandfather told her to never wear that ring in his house again. And when is the baby due? I'm 53. Wow. 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 It's just crazy. You know, I always feel so bad for people who are afraid to tell their parents or the family that, you know, they're pregnant. It's like, yes, your family is going to be like, man, but they should be protective of you after you tell them that. That he watched his son die of an overdose and didn't do anything to help. He told me that his son had battled addictions for many years and that he had called an ambulance in the past when his son had overdosed, but that he thought it was better this time to just let him go since he made his choice. What the hell? I mean, he could have saved his son, but he didn't. What the heck is that? Like, can you get charged for that? That's sad. Because if your kid is doing something like that, they're probably not happy with life. So like instead of letting your kid go, maybe try to help him out. Holy. When I was 11, I had a friend reveal that a stepmother was abusing her. She made me promise not to say anything to my mum or any other adult. I agreed. We had weekly therapy sessions with a guidance counsellor. It was my day to go and I just felt like I needed to tell, so I did. The counsellor ended up reporting it and the CPS got involved and my friend was made to live with her mother. She was so angry at me for telling, but I felt it in my soul that I should. We are still friends to this day. Both us 29 years old. Freaking, she freaking saved her friend, man. Basically, she chose her friend over her friendship. And that's the friend you need. Even if you think the friendship might break, but your friend is going to do better on that decision, make it. Right? Some people are selfish and they don't really care about the friend, but they like the friendship more. Casually dropped they killed someone and then got really quiet about it. Like sad quiet. Sounds like there was a case surrounding the ordeal, but could never get them to talk about it more and I didn't want to push. Yeah, I wouldn't want to push that either, you know. <laughs> you know, watching so many crime shows, if you push, they kill you too, because you know too much. When I was 16, my mum announced at dinner that her sister was coming for a visit next week. I dropped my fork and said, you have a sister? They never talked about their aunt ever. Why was that a surprise? Wow. Damn. I guess some people just don't know anything about their parents. 
It was me. I mentioned that my mum, my daughter's grandma, was coming to visit. My then five-year-old was shocked to the call. Is grandma your mum? I didn't know it was a secret. <laughs> I think that makes sense though, because sometimes you don't really see your parents interact with your grandma. If your grandma don't even treat like they exist because you exist, you know? Because <laughs> once you have a grandkid, you just go straight to the grandkid. You don't care about your actual kid. Friend told me in middle school, she was sexually abused by her babysitter and the babysitter's boyfriend on multiple occasions. I sat there quietly and she ended up moving at the end of the year. I wish I had the right words then. <gasps> oh my gosh. Damn, it's not anyone's fault but the freaking babysitter though. What do you say to that? You can't really do anything about that if you're still a kid, right? That a majority of people from my dad's side of the family borrowed money from my great grandmother and never paid her back. I'm talking like ten to twenty thousand dollars each person. My uncle, my aunt, my grandmother, my great uncle, great aunt. Damn. She rich. Apparently when she died, they all fought over the remaining stuff in the house and what money was left over. My dad never asked for money, never asked for anything. And after she died, all we got was her van. That actually leads into another secret. That van was then handed down to me as I had just gotten my license as a teen. It was a good van, heated seats, good speakers, TV in the back. Seats went all the way down. Hotbox that van so many times. Got lucky in there as well. I loved that van. Then I learned that my great grandmother didn't actually die in her living room like we had been told. She died in the driver's seat of that van, just died while putting it in the park one day. I feel very weird when I think about everything I did in that van now. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't expect that. I thought it was going to be like money was under the seats of the van, you know, or like hidden in the seats of the van. Nope, she died in the van. Damn. My friend revealed that he had sex with his third cousin at a family reunion. He said everybody was pretty upset, but didn't understand why nobody cared about the first two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? My brain is not functioning today. He's had sex with like three of his cousins. Seriously. At the start of this year, my mum got drunk and let it slip that I was adopted. At 30 years old, that was and is still a trip. Wow. Oof. Oof. How would they feel? It's like it wouldn't matter if your adopted parents treated you so well, but then you start to get that feeling like why did your actual parents leave you? Like not want you, right? And then you just go through this whole rabbit hole of like, you know, feeling not important. Even when your adopted parents were like great parents to you. Man, that sucks. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.